Dying parents in East Baton Rouge Parish have mixed feelings about their ch children returning to school, I should say, with the ongoing rise of COVID cases. The school district says it will be continuing the current mass guidance going into the spring semester. Our Anam Siddiqui spoke to parents about the surge in cases and Anam, what are they saying? Well, Renee, some parents say the schools do a good job with COVID mitigations, but others say they are nervous for their child to return to the classroom. East Baton Rouge Parish students still need to mask up when they return to school next week in the midst of an Omicron surge. It's like you could feel that germ in Tara Shea Covington has an eight-year-old daughter. Covington caught COVID-19 in the summer. She worries her child may be at risk at school. It's not saying they said that we had to wear our masks. The red was going down, but then I heard again it was up again, and I'm like, okay. They need to put kids back at home right now. Governor John Bell Edwards is urging schools to consider canceling extracurricular activities and increased mitigations. Urging schools to ensure that we have universal masking indoors and outdoors when distancing isn't possible. Misty Phillips says her child is safe from the virus, despite the governor's concern of pediatric cases rising once school returns. She says the face mask hurt her daughter's chronic bronchitis. I have not worn one since the beginning of COVID, and I refuse to wear them now. While there is no mask mandate in place, state health leaders are urging both parents and the child to once again consider masking up or getting the vaccine. It's really serious. We need to take it not let our kids go to school. Governor John Bell Edwards will announce Thursday whether he'll issue stricter statewide mitigations. Reporting live in studio, I'm Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News. All right, surely a much anticipated announcement there, Anam. Thank you so much.